Hi to all. Welcome to my class number 7. Rational Numbers, Class 8, Chapter 1. Today I am going to discuss a representation of ra rational numbers on the number line. Rational numbers between two rational numbers. You know how to represent the natural numbers on a number line. You begin with 1 and extend the other numbers on the right side of 1. In this way, you can represent natural numbers. Now, how will you represent whole numbers? Just begin with the 0 and extend the other numbers on the right side of 0. Now, how will you represent integers on a number line? Here you can see, for whole numbers, to the left of 0, there is no numbers at all. And the line extends only right side of 0. Here, to the left of the 0, we are writing negative integers. And to the right of the 0, we are writing positive integers. And the line extends in both directions indefinitely. Now let us see. How we can represent a rational numbers on a number line? Now let us represent 4 by 5 on a number line. 4 by 5 means we have to divide a unit into 5 equal parts and the fourth part represents 4 by 5. Let us see how it is. Draw a number line and mark 0 first and 4 by 5 will be on the right side of the 0 as 4 by 5 is a positive rational number. Now let me take 5 equal divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this, and mark it as 1. Here 1 unit contains 5 equal divisions. Now we can mark the second unit after 5 equal divisions. In this way, you can make, make the units on a number line. For representing a rational number on a number line, we are taking units according to the denominator. Since 5 is the denominator here, we took 5 equal divisions for 1 unit. Can you say what this point represents? This point is out of these 5 divisions, the first division, that is this point represents. Now where will be 4 by 5 like? Here it is 1 by 5. Next is 2 by 5, 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. So in this fourth division, 4 by 5 will be. Now let us see how to represent negative 8 by 3 on a number line. Since the given number is negative, we have to take 0 in the right side of this number line. Now look at the denominator. Denominator is 3. So, we have to take 3 divisions as 1 unit. Here, take 3 divisions and write negative 1. Similarly, another next 3 divisions. After next 3 divisions, you can take negative 2. Then, after 3 divisions, negative 3. After 4 division you can take negative 4 and so on. Now what will be the first division? This division represents 1 negative 1 by 3. This will be negative 2 by 3 and this will be negative 3 by 3. Negative 3 by 3 is you can write as negative 1. So, where negative 8 by 3 will be? So, 
1, 2, 3, 4, this is 4 by 3, 5 by 3, 6 by 3, 7 by 3 and this one will be negative 8 by 3. So there you can write negative 8 by 3. This way you can represent positive rational number or negative rational number on a number line. Now let us look at some questions. Here is the question. In this number line where 0 is, actually 0 by 5, this represents 0. Now what will be the first? Yes, it is 1 by 5. This one will be 2 by 5, 3 by 5. And what point B represents? Yes, it is 4 by 5. So, do represent C, D and E on this number line. Now, let next number line, where 0 is? as yes, it is the extreme end. So, these are all representing to the left of 0, negative rational numbers. So, write what F, X, I and J represent. Now let us discuss rational numbers between two rational numbers. What are the natural numbers between 1 and 5? It is very simple. They are 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, what are the integers between negative 2 and 2? They are negative 1, 0 and 1. Similarly, we can find integers between we can find rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Let me take two rational numbers 2 by 7 and 6 by 7. What are the rational numbers between 2 by 7 and 6 by 7? Now let me take 2 by 7 and 6 by 7 on a number line. That means one unit is divided into 7 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 2 by 7, this is 6 by 7. Now what are the rational numbers in between 2 by 7 and 6 by 7? That is this one will be 3 by 7, this one will be 4 by 7, this one will be 5 by 7. So in between 2 by 7 and 6 by 7 you can write 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 3 rational numbers. Three by, the rational numbers between 2 by 7 and 6 by 7 is equal to 3 by 7, 4 by 7 and 5 by 7. Are these 3 numbers only lying in between 2 by 7 and 6 by 7? Let us check it. Take 3 by 7 and 6 by 7. Multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. What will you get? You will get 3 into 10, 30 by 70 and 6 into 10, 60 by 70. Now again you can find a lot of numbers between 30 by 70 and 60 by 70. Yes, 31 by 70, 32 by 70, 33 by 70 and 34 by 70 and so on we can write. Now if you multiply 100 to both the numerator and denominator, you will get 300 by 700 and 600 by 700. Further, more numbers you can write in between 300 by 700 and 600 by 700. So, in between any two rational numbers, indefinite numbers, rational numbers you can find out. So, we can conclude in between any two rational numbers, infinite number of rational numbers are there. Now, here you can see the denominators are equal. If denominators are equal, you multiply by 10 or 100 or any other number to both numerator and denominator and take the numerator in between the numerator you can find out many rational numbers in this way. Now if denominators are not equal then how will you find out the rational numbers between the two rational numbers. Let us check with another question. 
find any five rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. Here denominators are 3 and 4. Now make the denominators equal by taking LCM of 3 and 4. Here the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So 3 12 4 times multiply 2 into 4 you will get 8 by 12. Similarly 4 into 12 3 times. So we can write 3 into 3 by 12 it is 9 by 12. Now in between 8 by 12 and 9 by 12 you cannot get 5 rational numbers. So multiply with any number to both numerator and denominator so as to get 5 rational numbers between these two numbers. So let me for multiply by 10 to both numerator and denominator what will you get? So 8 by 12 we can write it as 80 by 120 9 by 12 you can write it as 90 by 120 Now in between these two you can take any 5 rational numbers So we can write 5 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 are 81 by 120, 82 by 120, 83 by 120, 84 by 120 and 85 by 120 In this way you can find out any number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers. If you multiply by any other number, instead of 10, if you multiply by 5, you will get another 5 rational numbers. Or 1000, if you multiply 1000, you can get another 5 types of 5 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. Any number you can find out by multiplying both numerator and denominator a suitable number. Here is your exercise 1.2. There are seven questions represent the numbers on a number line, first and second, then five rational numbers smaller than two. Two you can take it as two by one or less than two you can write one, two, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and all. They are all integers as well as rational numbers too. Then find rational numbers between negative 5, 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. You can make denominators equal and multiply both numerator and denominator with a suitable number. Then 5, 6 and 7 are Right, rational numbers between two rational numbers. That is all for today's class. Do all these questions well. Have a nice day.